everyone. I just wanted to come to you to talk to you about your final portfolio project um, that takes the place of a final exam in this class. Uh, so I have posted uh, the assignment sheet, but I just wanted to make sure that I kind of talked you through some of it. Um, so um, there's no final exam, so your last thing is uh, all focused basically on revision. So uh, what you will need to do um, is to choose um, from your podcast analysis or your uh, rhetorical analysis. So one of those two you need to revise and you will revise your research paper. So when that comes in, I'm going to do a quick turnaround with that and get that right back out to you so you can revise it. Um, so it's due on Friday and I should have them all back the following Friday. Uh, good Lord willing and the creek don't rise as uh, my grandma used to say. So, um, so in addition to that, while you're waiting for my comments and the rubric um, mark for your research paper, you can be working on the textual revision of the rhetorical analysis and you can also be working on your reflection essay. Your reflection essay is um, an essay focused on how you have grown and changed as a writer throughout uh, this class um, and it also can be um, your opportunity to talk about uh, the places that you would still like to kind of improve as a writer and also you can kind of think about what changes, write about what changes you made in those revisions that are included and why you made those. Okay, so um, and then the final piece of the portfolio is your, are your journal entries. Okay, so I'm looking for eight journal entries from you. Um, so I gave you some examples before um, that, but mostly just if you write a journal entry about, um, you know, the videos, the YouTube things, um, any experiences that you have had with writing, with podcasting, with um, with research, uh, those all make great journal entries. Okay, so the reflective essay is um, basically a completely in first person. It's all your views of your growth as a writer. Um, the things that challenged you in the course, uh, the things that helped you, the things that surprised you, um, and things like that. Um, so those are that's what the final portfolio is about. You will um, gather all of that information into one document, Word or PDF document, and you'll upload that. Um, and if you have handwritten uh, journal entries, just scan those in and insert them into the document and um, that can st it still kind of um, needs to be one document. So even if you have those handwritten notes, just do an insert picture, that kind of thing. And remember that there are uh, apps out there, free apps that allow you to scan um, from your phone. So you can always do that as well. Uh, so those are the components, so the journals, the reflection essay, which is four pages, double spaced, the, and that's basically if you reflect on every project that we've done, um, that's, that's it, you know, that would make the page count, I know a lot of you are concerned about that usually. Um, so the reflective, the journal entries, the reflective essay, the rhetorical analysis, or podcast analysis revision and then lastly the research paper revision okay so um, let me know if you have questions about that uh, the assignment sheet is posted to our canvas page and um, email me with questions call me with concerns all right thanks